Hey guys, how's it going? Well, we're just doing a little raise tech talk today and working on a set of camel humps for a guy. Installing new new stuff. New uh, new springs. The correct springs. We had the wrong well the wrong springs were installed on the heads previously and they were too strong and wiped out the cam. So now we ordered the right springs for the cam that's Installing. We're installing because that's what it was recommended. Yeah. We just got the uh, screw in studs in. Guide plates. Guide plates. Loctite and torque. Loctite and torque. Ray's done some uh, seat work just to clean them up a little bit. Nothing serious. Just to open the uh, well, let's bowls. Go. This, is a, this is a serious uh, uh, bowl job and mm -hmm. head job. This is uh, pretty much as much as I'm willing to do to a head. So I've done more to this head than I do to most heads that aren't my own. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> each one of these bowls have been taken out to 90% of the size of the valve. Which doesn't happen generally when you go to a machine shop. They just put a new valve in. They don't open up the uh, well, runner. Well, if you look back on some of the videos, you'll see some really bad camel hump heads that have had bigger valves put in them. Yeah. And they're just, yeah. So anyway, this these are opened up to 90% of the valve. I've cleaned up all the runners. I've cut down all the bosses. I can I don't know if you can see down inside. Oh, have, got a light there? I can maybe. Where I've cut these bosses all down to yeah. increase airflow. Yeah. I've cleaned, Every... I've cleaned up the runners. The exhaust runners have been polished. Mm -hmm. um, what else they do this head? Uh, you can see these black marks. I had put the head gasket on and traced the fire ring. So that I could unshroud the intake valve. That's very important. That's very important. A lot of guys will put big valves in and not unshroud them. And what they're gaining with the bigger valve, they're losing through the shrouding. Yeah. So there's really no gain there. No, no. So you got to really do the whole job. Now, these are uh, 194 valves. So they weren't shrouded really bad, but they were shrouded and they needed to be cleaned up. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the point in doing all this other extensive work and not doing the, the unshrouding? Yeah. Okay, so that's where I am with these. Um, like you mentioned, we got a box of brand new springs. Mm -hmm. All the parts have been cleaned. We got new seals. I'm going to put positive seals on the intake. Umbrellas on the exhaust. And I'm also going to put my stem seals up at the top with the keepers. Just because I can. It's yeah. overkill, but better overkill than have a, a leak. But these seals work really well, so. Yeah, they do. Um, that's where we're at with that. I got the valves all lapped for this particular head. Um, I'm gonna put this all back together with the new springs, and then down the road, I will gasket match the intake to the intake side of this head. Yeah. Which I'm assuming is probably pretty good because this has already been touched. But I want to double check it. It looked pretty thin. And uh, make sure the gasket matches, which makes a big difference also. Uh -huh. And I uh, will give them another good wash and a good grease down, and uh, they'll be ready to put together. Yeah, you can't beat the runs on the camel hump. They're now just this, straight. Right. Now, this uh, motor's not going to run till May or June, so maybe April, who knows. But it's going to be a while, so yeah. everything will get lubed very well. Uh, using assembly lube. So this motor is definitely going to smoke on startup because there's going to be a lot of assembly lube in some places. <laughs> yeah, we do get be. that. But uh, I just like to overkill the assembly lube myself. Not No such thing as too much, but mm -hmm. especially when you're storing a motor for a couple of three months before yeah. you run it. All right, guys. But that's where we are with these, these heads of Steve's. And uh, I got the other, the other head I need to lap and uh, assemble also. Where's the lid for the new springs, Ray? Uh, right here. Now, these springs, the comp supplies. Matches the cam, same company. Um, This number here, yeah. They refer to it a lot as a stock replacement, and it does go up quite high on the lift, but you do have to go with a ro full roller rocker. Once you hit 500 lift. Once, Yeah, just under 500 lift. So it's a real good replacement spring. And Steve already has good uh, comp cam yeah. uh, 
a roller rocker, so he's mm -hmm. set that way. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out for a minute. We're getting there.